What up, incredibly low budget YouTube intro? And follow at Danny or Sam UFC on Twitter. Welcome yeah, to the football show. Referring to that, I saw this video in which this guy came out of an American restaurant, right? And this is going to be the main topic of today. He came out of an American restaurant, yeah, building a pickaxe. But there was obviously something wrong with him, and like he was taking drugs or something. The American police, they then shot him in the face with a taser. The guy didn't drop, which is obviously kind of weird. Is that's why everyone can tell he's either drunk, drunk or on drugs, some kind of drug, like heroin or meth or something. And then basically, he went towards one of the police officers with a pickaxe, and the police officer in front of him, who he went to hit with the pickaxe, moved out of the way, the police officer to the right of the suspect, then shot him three times in the chest, right? At which point, the man with the pickaxe tried to run away, uh, run away, not towards, away from the police officers, and then, and then the police officer who was standing to his right then shot him another seven times and the guy died. Well, I personally think this is excessive force. I know people saying, oh, it's the heat of the moment. Well, they're trained to be able to act in the heat of the moment. Why didn't they shoot him in the leg? And even so, if they shot him three times in the chest, he was trying to get away and stumbling over. They could have just took him down and arrested him then. I didn't have to shoot him another seven times while holding like a German Shepherd in, 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 in his arm. I think it's wrong. I, I don't think... I think it's kind of a fine line thing. I don't think the police officer should... The police officers should get charged for this. He shouldn't get charged for murder or manslaughter or anything. I think I think he, he should get some sort of caution or or lose his job over it because what he did was wrong. He used he used brutal excessive force, and if and it's like if the police here use that kind of force, right? And it like I suppose it happens everywhere, and but it's not video recorded, but it it kind of just scares you what the police are actually capable of and what they can get away with, like after they've shot him that many times. Yeah, I know, I know that they did their job. I'm kind of like conflicted over this because I think if I was in this situation and that of the other guy, the guy who shot him, and he was swinging a pickaxe at my friend, I would shoot him dead. I will shoot him dead into the floor. But then again, I'm not trained to be able to make that decision. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a coin flip if you get what I'm saying. So if you're, if you're watching this, I want you to like tweet me at Dinos underscore MUFC or comment or video response below with your opinions on this situation because. This is this is this is worse than that that kid that Asian kid getting beaten in I saw a few weeks ago. That was bad. This is worse. This guy got shot dead, and the people even the people who were video recording it were like, "That's excessive." They just shot him. They shot him ten times. That guy isn't alive. But I feel, I think it, it's just it's stupid. It's wrong, and I, it's kind of made me feel ill. And and I hope you appreciate it. I, I'm gonna leave a link below so you can all watch it. And I want you all to watch it. And I want you I want you all to comment or send to my Facebook or my Google Class or my Twitter or whatever you'll find on my on my profile page. And with your views, because I really want to know, because this this is the sort of thing that keeps me up at night. If people like this can get away with it, can get away with excessive force like that. But but it, again, again, I don't know what the the, pre, the situation prior to this moment was. You know, like like you know, he, he could have deserved it. He could have done anything. But I would just put it's just kind of I disgusting. Had it, but Mario Balotelli uh, said that he wants to walk away from Man City in English football after he believes he's getting treated unfair by refs after getting a few red cards. Of then getting a four match ban for stamping on Scott Parker's head. Well, there's a simple explanation for this. Stop being a prick and don't make don't make stupid decisions and play like a real man and fair and be a sportsman. Then act, then act like a complete moron and like a toddler or a child or something. You know, play like a real man. And uh, playing like a real man, don't like stomp on someone's head. If you want to play like that, why don't you go and play like rugby or American football and become a become like an English football player? Or maybe you're just not fit for this league if you think that situation. My next story is that in America, in Atlanta, in Southern California, Starbucks are going to start selling beer and wine in the later hours of the day. And I think this is a great idea because they don't just promote coffee. They're not just a coffee company. They promote a lifestyle, like a way of living. Like you go in there before work, have a coffee, read the paper, write a book, write diary journals or read or listen to music. Like, and then now, after work, you can go and de-stress with a nice cold beer, if you live in America, and go on your laptop, do whatever you're doing. And, you know, why can't I have it here in Europe or Britain? Because we drink more than the Americans. Why can't we have it? It's a bit unfair, really. My next story is that, that Liam Neeson was seen on the set of, uh, of uh, Bat Batman The Dark Knight Rises, and there's been a lot of speculation about his character, Raoul Al Ghul, coming back, because his character, Raoul Al Ghul, in the comics... He basically he basically bathes in these like pits of like luminous colours and it gives him some sort of, it basically gives him eternal eternal youth. It's like a found in the youth or something. So people are saying but Liam, but Liam Neeson's character is coming back to the next movie. And I hope he does, because I love Liam Neeson and he's such a badass and I love Batman. So, you know, them two together in a film again with better special effects and stuff's gonna be awesome. Like the Miz. But yeah, it'll be awesome, you know what I mean?
That's all I'm going to say today. Thank you for watching the show and have a good day.